I'm here at the University of Texas for a workshop, a dual credit program that I will be co-teaching Monday through Friday. I'll be attending Monday through Friday. I won't be co-teaching Monday through Friday. So I should be expecting a full week of learning and fun, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> So I finished day one of the Cambridge overview. It was in the afternoon from one, they had like introductions from 12.30 to one and then one started and then it lasted until about 4.15ish. And really was just an introdu introduction to those who had never taught the course before. I actually, I think she said, she's either the fifth or sixth professor that has facilitated the course. Um, I had it when it was a second professor. It was rough back in the day. So it was just an overview of the online learning systems that we're gonna be using. So one of them is gonna be a Canvas through the University of Texas. Another one's gonna be a program called Sapling. That's how our students will do homework on that. And then they'll access their assignments and the videos from the prof professor through the Canvas. And I really liked the professor because she was like, you know, we're going to be co-teachers. We're going to work together to make sure that the students are successful because essentially they are university students. They're enrolled through the University of Texas and they will receive college credit, up to six hours of college credit because they take a course in the fall, which they will earn three hours, and they take a course in the spring, which they will earn three hours. So I'm looking forward to learning about how the kids in previous years have done in certain topics and how I can apply it. Um, to my classroom and to the students that I'm going to get. It's also making me really consider flexible seating because I know I want to do it, but considering that these students who are enrolling in this Cambridge course are actually officially college students because they will be taking a course at UT Austin, will be going there for, on a visit, and they will get they will earn credit if they do successful, if they are successful in the, in the class. I want to perhaps create an environment in my classroom for them that would give them a sense of how they would study at home. So I'm still on the fence about that. I've been thinking about it a lot. And so we'll see when I do my classroom tour. Other than that, it was a short day. We got out a little bit early. I found out that they are gonna be providing breakfast and lunch Tuesday through Thursday, and then a small snack on Friday because Friday morning is a half day. So I'll be done by 12.30 Friday. So I'm excited. The veteran teachers who've been teaching that course for at least one or more years will be coming in tomorrow. So it'll be a much bigger group. There were only seven people there today. Um, plus, I think I counted 12 people who came from the Math Bridge and the Spurs program. So that was my Monday and my day one at the Cambridge workshop. It is Tuesday, July 25th, and I'm on my way to the University of Texas for day two of the Cambridge um, workshop. It's 826 and I have to be there by nine, and I'm actually just running into traffic. So probably be slowed down for about maybe five minutes but then after that I should be I should be there by 840. I arrived at the University of Texas it's 840 about 20 more minutes before the session starts for another full day of Cambridge fun and learning. I 
am at UT Burdine Hall. We are on a break. We actually just worked on a couple of practice problems and then a post exam test that our students will take um, as the year progresses. So a lot of it's great. It's a refresher and the stuff that I need to do. Um, I'm actually gonna get ready to head back right now because it's a 10 minute break and I need to grab some food. There goes the UT bell, if you can hear it. You can probably hear my voice that I don't feel too well. It's allergies. This actually took a break. Uh, I just came, came out here because it's a little bit cold in the building and I am having allergy issues and I don't feel too well. But I'm gonna go back in a few seconds because class is about to start. I just really want to go home and jump in bed and pass out. I am in bed and it's only 5 p.m. But if you saw my earlier video and you can hear my voice now, I'm not doing too well. Allergies. Nine ten, it's day three of learning at UT. Um, I feel somewhat better, but we'll see as the day progresses. And my voice is still kind of crappy. So I just got home today. Was actually some great news because she's the professor's going to try to get us out earlier because we're supposed to go to all the way through Friday. But I think some of the other dual credit programs they were going to try to finish by tomorrow, Thursday. And so our professor asked us, hey, you know, do we wanna all try to go to Friday or do we wanna try to end on Thursday? And so she had a vote and nobody raised their hand when she asked to go to Friday. So I'm home, my dogs are crying. So let me go take them out so they can do their business. So I do have to say that it actually hurts to talk because I really have just been coughing nonstop really all day yesterday. So I'm still, I'm feeling the after effects from yesterday but I'm gonna still get through this vlog. So if it just seems like I'm like out of it, it's because I've taken a Benadryl <laughs> and I'm probably gonna go to bed shortly after this. But I feel a lot better than I did yesterday because I don't feel weak or hot. It's just, again, I've, I have coughing and a little sniffling, sniffling and sneezing, which yesterday I felt so bad because I'm sitting in class, I'm sitting in the, the lecture hall and I'm like coughing and sniffling and sneezing and I had to leave the, the lecture hall a couple times to blow my nose and I'm sure people didn't like I thought probably people thought I was sick <coughs> <coughs> oh that hurt that one hurt the past couple days we would go over like the module the learning targets because she and at least the chemistry department at UT they backward plan um, which is great because I had my vlog on that so she had the learning expectations or the learning targets for the students to know and be able to do know and be able to do by the time they take their test. And so she had us as teachers go through it and you know rank which ones that the the top three that we felt that students would struggle with. And almost for every module that we've done, it always had to do with some type of calculation. For example, dimensional analysis and. Um, you know, mole conversions. So one of the activities she had us do was she had us number off and whatever number that you selected, that was um, the learning target that you had to first open up the exam and find the question that matched that learning target. And then secondly, you had to write a test question, not a test question, more like a warm up or a review question that was aligned to that learning target. Then what we did is we passed our papers to other people and they would um, add on to it or they would modify it a bit then we would pass it on again and we would try to work that problem and then we would pass it on again and we would add perhaps an extension then for module number three so that was module number two we did that for we did the same thing yesterday with module number one Module number three, she did it a little bit differently. She took all the learning targets and she cut them up into strips and she went around and everybody picked one. And um, actually what she had us do, she had us all come down to the front and we had a lineup from easiest, what we thought was the easiest learning target all the way through the hardest learning target. 
and then she grouped us the hardest learning target with the easiest learning target and until we were all paired up and then from there in our groups we had to write a question whether it was a warm-up question or a, a review question that was aligned to that learning target and then from there once we wrote the question we passed it on to the next group and then they modified it um, you know if, for example like if the directions weren't clear or they thought there should be something um, listed in which we didn't list in our original problem then we pass it on again and that's when we had to work the problem and then we pass it on one more time where we you know wrote any type of modification so I thought that was pretty useful that's something that you know as a teacher I could utilize not just in this dual credit class but some of my on level or even pre AP classes we had lunch during lunch I walked around campus and UT is actually I felt a little bit lost because number one they were doing a lot of construction there I felt a little bit out of place and I saw a lot of like the newer buildings that were up and some of the additions that they added around just around the campus but today was a really nice day just to, to walk around so that was great I went to the co-op bought a couple of things oh, I actually have them here so I went to the co-op to buy a couple things. I really went because several years ago I bought these heavy duty markers. What they are. Um, these are better than Sharpies, but I also needed to get a new lab coat. The kids always get excited when they see me in a lab coat because they're like, are we going to do a lab? But I'm like, no, I'm just cold. And then I got a, I needed to get a new one anyways, a new um, collared university shirt. I think I said this in my I Teach 2 video. On Wednesdays, the staff would get to wear um, university or college shirts. And so <clears throat> this was great because a lot of times most people were wearing burnt orange because most, a lot of the staff went to UT. And so I can still represent UT, but I can have a black one. And my other one snagged and the button came off and I don't so. Ooh, baby, on the track, I'm going room, room. Try and catch me when I pull up in a zoom, zoom. So I made it for day four of the UT Cambridge workshop and so I'm about to head out because class is about to start in 10 minutes. It's 9.20 and breakfast ends at 9.30. So another day of fun and learning. The course has changed so much since I last did Cambridge. I'm not familiar with you know, their background in chemistry and who their chemistry teachers were. I'm just, I guess I'm concerned in that, that aspect and helping them be successful in this course. So just beyond, you know, it's a college course, but then at the same time, it's also chemistry. So that's just, that's my concern. They do give us the, what do you call them? The, the good ones. Okay. Um, <laughs> they do give us the good ones. Um, <coughs> so they're the ones that are going to work hard for it. So, I, I don't think you should worry about that issue. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. I'll let y'all know. 0.28 grams. So, just for the simplicity of math, we'll assume that's about 0.3. Currently at UT, walking during lunch break, there's all this construction going on. So, the campus looks a lot different from one I attended. It's really weird to see the fountain right there not running because it was one of the staples. Um, this was actually one of the pathways that I would walk all the time when I was a student at UT. That was it, I am done, I'm heading home. You finished early, so Friday I'm free to do what I want. I probably will go to my classroom to fix it up. So today was the final day of the UTeach, not UTeach, UT Cambridge 
workshop. We did do like two surveys and then I got a certificate. Um, and now I'm actually almost home. So I'm probably gonna lay up by the pool. However, I'm excited because that leaves Friday open and I can perhaps go to my classroom and paint because I started painting the day before I left for Vancouver. And so I need to do another section of the wall. So hopefully by then the janitors have waxed the floors and I can get some stuff done, some real stuff done. So I'm excited. So today's my Friday, if you will. I get to relax. Well, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking on the links right here. And if there was anything about this particular video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button and or comment down below. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to click this button to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching.